In 1845, following his training in Vienna, the young organ builder Franz Rieger returned to his hometown of Jägendorf in the present-day Czech Republic and founded his own firm. The enterprise developed quickly and was most successful thanks to its advanced technology and understanding of the musical spirit of the times. In 1873, the two sons, Otto and Gustav, took over the management of the enterprise. They built a new, generously proportioned workshop and expanded the activities of the firm further. By 1900, they were already employing 150 members of staff. After the untimely death of Otto the Younger, his workshop manager and friend, Josef von Glatter Goetz, took over the firm. He led it to new heights and developed his own family tradition. Besides building highly romantic organs, he conceptualized instruments that paved the way for the so-called organ movement, the rediscovery of the classical ideal of mechanical slider chest organs. As a result of the Second World War, the organ workshop was expropriated and nationalized. The German-speaking population, including Riga's executives and a large proportion of the staff, had to leave the country by decree. They could only take with them their experience, tradition and immense expertise in building quality instruments. Some of the best organ builders from Jägendorf reassembled in Schwarzach in Vorarlberg to start anew. Today, the modern workshops of Riga Orgelbau Limited are situated in the idyllic Vorarlberg, Rhine Valley. This firm has developed independently over six decades and has no relationship with the former enterprise that nowadays is the Czech firm Riga Kloss. Josef Glattergutz Jr. adhered to the ideals of the mechanical slider chest organ and became one of its greatest advocates and went on to influence organ building not only in Europe but indeed worldwide. In 1980, his sons, Kasper, Raymond and Christoph, took over the running of the firm. In 2003, after three generations of leadership by the Glattergutz family, Wendelin Eberler took over the enterprise from Christoph glatter Goetz, who had retired on medical grounds. Wendelin Eberler did his apprenticeship at the firm before furthering his education through continuing to study organ building as widely as possible. He made the tonal and artistic elements of the organ central to the firm's philosophy, without neglecting its much-praised technical reliability and proverbial spirit of innovation.